hi guys this is the bold and the beautiful review okay um since I did not review the episodes where Allie died um I'm gonna be reviewing them okay so and I'll talk about the funeral too so I'm gonna talk about everything oh <sighs> so let's start with um fine coming back Okay, he's super happy. He's just like, hey guys, I'm back, okay? I'm never flying commercial ever again. It was just like... <sighs> okay. And then um, he's super happy for Rick and Maya because they're like, oh, we got engaged. <laughs> okay. No, Maya did not do that, but, you know, they're really happy. And Thorne says to her, says to Maya, I'm really, I'm impressed, okay, by you because you didn't run away. And I was just like, she didn't run away because Rick was staying with her. Like, he wanted her back. You know, he really wanted her, loved her. And she said, said it herself, like, uh, when the scandal happened, that if she was not Rick's wife she couldn't work with him she, she was like no I can't be working with him and not be his wife and I was just like really like she didn't even ask to be transferred to Forrester International or to you know no she just couldn't work with him she couldn't be in the same building if she was not with him like married and all or you know I was just like what the hell Maya okay but it's fine so um Thorne is impressed he really likes Maya for some reason okay well then again Thorne was not there so he doesn't know what happened with Rick and Maya so I can't I should be understanding that's why he's not mad at them or anything so um Rick then tells Thorne you know what Ali's in trouble okay and it might be my fault, okay? I wasn't great with Allie. And he he apologized for it for it. He was like, you know what? I was drunk on power. I did not treat um uh, Allie well. I'm really sorry. And Maya said something like, I feel awful. <laughs> okay. And Thorne was like, you know what? It goes without saying, you know, like <laughs> Apology accepted. Don't worry. And I was just like, Thorn, you don't know what happened. Okay? You didn't ask for details. Like, what do you mean you treated her bad? And you were drunk and power. What does that mean? Okay? Uh, you, and seriously, I loved Rick's apology. I'm going to be honest. I loved the apology. Okay? Because it was long. Okay? A little speech. But the thing is, he apologized to the wrong person. I was just like, why are you apologizing to Thorne? You should have apologized to Allie. She's the one who was suffering, okay? She was the one hurting, crying over it. Not Thorne. Thorne doesn't know anything. And seriously, if you felt that bad about mistreating Allie, then you should have apologized to her right after her her outburst in the conference room okay in the CEO room okay like office no you did not apologize then okay you saw her screaming at people okay you you you, you saw her going coo -coo -coo -coo, and you didn't apologize you didn't say you know what I understand that maybe I did something to you and now it's getting you riled up I am so sorry I was so wrong I was drunk on power I was a ass to you please okay please forgive me no you did not do that okay you did not apologize to anyone okay so now you want to apologize because now you feel like Allie might be in serious trouble. I, I, I was not feeling that at all. You apologize to the wrong person and you better feel guilty, okay? 
but they don't feel that much guilty like you don't they don't they don't feel that much guilt because later on they're together Rick and Maya and they're talking about their lives like how much they love each other they're gonna get married look at that ring it looks really good on you you're so beautiful and etc etc I'm like Ali is outside you don't know where you think she's out of control okay she might be doing something crazy and you're talking about your life And we're supposed to like these people. We're supposed to like these characters. Really? How? How? A girl is outside. She's sick. You know there's something going on with her. And you know you participated in her going out of control and you are talking about your life your plans oh we're getting married i'm so happy <laughs> like what now i was not here for it okay and then you have um rick telling thorn oh we all think that ali needs help what oh now y'all are thinking about giving her help she needed help months ago. She, she actually, she always has needed help. Like I don't, I don't understand. So she, that what they're saying right now is that she really doesn't have uh, a, a psychologist. Okay, like <laughs> what? So she was in LA with no psychologist. No, she, she was not going to therapy. Like I was afraid that 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 was the case, but. I mean, it is the case of them not actually far, not being there for his daughter and not making sure that she has help. Like, really, Thorn? You left her with no help at all? Wow. We all think that Ali needs help. Yeah, of course. Thorn, really? Like, mm, I don't get it. And then we have uh, Rick, uh, no, not Rick, Maya telling Thorn, I don't know, she feels like she's somebody now. So she gets to talk to Thorn and she's like, you know, you're a good father. And even though Allie has limitations, and I was just like, bitch, you did not. But she did, okay? Oh my, my. I don't care who you are okay you don't you don't talk to people like that you don't say these things that's Ali's father okay that's like limitations what are you saying what are you saying and like coming it's coming from someone that he doesn't really know girl you I hired you, okay? My my father's company hired you to walk in a fashion show, okay? I don't know you, okay? Now you're marrying my brother, okay, all right, but I still don't know you. Like, how? No, don't talk about my daughter like that. Like, even if you know that, if, even if you know Thorne, you don't say these things. Oh, your daughter has limitations, you know? Your daughter is crazy, but she needs pills, okay? You don't say these things. I'm sorry. You don't say these things. Even if you think it, even if everybody thinks it, okay? You don't say it. Because that's the father. That's the parent. Okay? Like, I, Maya, I was just like, shush. She could have said something like, you're a good father. I'm so happy that I'm. she's so lucky to have a father like you. I wish I had one like like hers okay like she has a father that that's there okay that supports her and i wish i had that okay support and love the end period point punto okay that's it you don't say limitation or talk about no you don't shh, shh. oh my my okay so that was that episode and then we go to uh ivy who's at forrester creations in uh in the office and she's crying white comes in 
with jewelry i guess i don't know why why it was at parcel creations because i'm like you took care of business earlier so why are you coming back but okay it's fine he uh he sees ivan he's like okay so what's going on why are you crying and i was like ali's dead you know she's dead she doesn't have a life anymore god and um Steffi killed her okay well he didn't she didn't say that like that but it was more like Allie is not alive because of Steffi yeah that's she said something like that and why doesn't want to believe it okay he's more like uh you sure you misunderstood you didn't see it right I mean come on girl this is Steffi we're talking about I know you don't like her but mm, come on and Ivy says um I have some footage, okay? Mm-hmm. I filmed the scene. And Wyatt was just like, okay, give me that. So, um, I think it was with her phone. So, he's watching the footage, and he's like, oh, my gosh. And he's like, no. Replay, 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 because he doesn't want to believe it. And I was just like, I told you, okay? Like, you, you're seeing this with your own eyes. Come on believe me and you know what i need to tell somebody about that footage okay because i have proof because ally deserves justice Woo! stuff is not gonna be good for you especially when i didn't talk about this but when um the, the struggle okay during the struggle um uh uh I think Steffi was down on the floor, okay? So she picked up the um, tire iron and she she's like she took a swing, okay? She was like, "Uh-uh, I'm going to swing." And that's how she killed Ali. But then um Ivy called the police. The police came and they asked Steffi uh what happened. And Steffi was just like Oh well, she hit her head. She 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 fell, and I was like, w w w I was like, Steffi, stop talking. That was the time. I thought I don't understand. Why did she talk? Like, first of all, don't lie. Second of all, don't talk. I I don't know what happened. She should have been like, I don't, I won't answer any questions. That's what she should have done. I'm sorry. Don't answer any questions okay call your lawyer okay Carter you need to come over here I need your help okay well maybe not Carter because he's just like he's not a criminal lawyer like but it's fine call a lawyer okay call for help don't talk to the police yet yeah, don't give a statement where you're not there mentally okay your head ain't here so you're talking blah 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 blah, blah, blah and then if you lied you can't just come back and be like sorry officer I lied because I was so stressed out because then you look like a liar and people are looking at you like hmm, hmm, hmm. are you telling the truth now like so no don't talk okay don't talk don't say anything shh, shh, shh. damn okay you rich okay you're supposed to know these things call your lawyer then let's get to something, um, let's get to Nicole and Zendaya, okay, that's quick, let's get rid of them, um, Nicole and Zendaya, they are at Forrester Creations, they're working, <laughs> and Nicole is telling uh, Zendaya how happy she is for Maya, because Maya got engaged, and she, she was like, wow Maya just walked on that stage and I wish I could do the same and you know I wouldn't mind doing that one day <sighs> okay it's exactly it's like Maya 2.0 like <sighs> and Zendaya was like go ahead go walk walk for me please let me watch so my if Maya was Nicole walked okay she did to her mm-hmm 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 Mm, mm, uh huh, uh huh. I look good. Oh, uh -huh. I look good. Yeah, I do. And um, it's cute. Okay, it's cute. They're lovely together. I I love them together. But my thing is um, where's the drama? 
What was the purpose of uh, having Zenday on the show? Like, this is one character he came in and I was, like, expecting, okay, like, maybe he's gonna be the Forrester that, we, we don't know that he's a Forrester, but he's a Forrester, but nobody knows, but no, everybody knew that he was a Forrester, so I, I was like, what's the point, uh, what, what was it all about, there's no drama, I, I don't know why he's here, Okay, why are we wasting money on that actor if we're not going to make him do something? Like, where's the drama? Love, we see love all the goddamn time on that show. Okay? Rick and Maya are in love. We're going to get married. They have the fairy tale story. We have Steffi and Liam. They're together. Okay? The future is now. Okay? We're going to have a life together. Okay, great. We got that. Um... Ivy and Wyatt, they got something going on. Okay, it's starting. We have Ridge and Caroline. We have Deacon and Quinn. We have... Okay, well... I forgot. Katie and Bill. They're not doing much these days. They're showing up. But we don't know why they show up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just saying. Um, they talk about other people's lives. They... They don't have a life of their own. We don't see anything interesting with them. We we don't really see them that much. Um, why do we need Nicole and Sandy? What for? What's fun with B and B is the the legal issues. Okay, when characters have legal issues, we're like, oh, that's interesting. Like Steffi's about to have some legal issues okay she's about to have some legal issues um business problems business rivalries like thorn and rich they always i want to be ceo and those are fun okay um when they lose the, the company things like that that's really cool um but love okay we come on do something more like Nicole and Zenday. I love them, but there's they're not doing anything like Zenday. Zenday, what's crazy to me is that I didn't see Zenday at the funeral. You're a farcer, and technically, your cousin I think it's her cousin. Your cousin died. You're not showing up. Where's, where's Nicole? Nicole didn't have to go technically, but. Where's Zenday? That was weird. Um, but let's go back in time. <laughs> okay. So we got Liam and Steffi at the mansion. Okay. So that's after, you know, the accident. Okay. Steffi really defended herself. Okay. She was not about to die that day. She was like, I'm going to defend myself. She had no choice. Okay. But to swing at Ali. She had no choice. But I also understand why Ivy is thinking that um, Steffi killed Ali. Because that's what she saw, literally. Okay? She didn't see Ali with the rock in her hand. And Steffi was in her face, swinging. Okay? That's, that's what she saw, literally. So, let's get back to the mention. So, Steffi is crying. Okay, she can't really walk. She's like, oh my God. And then you have Liam who's like, what's going on? And Steffi's like, Allie's dead. And then Thorn shows up. And he's like, and he's like, oh, have you seen Allie? And Steffi is like, you know what? Allie tried to hit me with her car. And Thorne was like, uh-uh, that did not happen. I don't believe you. That did not happen. My daughter ain't dangerous. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? Allie not dangerous? I remember Taylor, like, almost dying. Like, I think that Allie was about to attack Taylor. I'm sorry. So, how? No. Allie was dangerous. She and even if you didn't think she was dangerous, dangerous, you know that she had mental issues, right? So at some point, if 
there's no therapist, there's no psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever. There's not anyone to help her. I mean, don't you think that at some point her mental problems are going to get bigger? And then she's going to become dangerous? You didn't think about that? Of course not. Of course not. And then Steffi is, te uh, is telling um, For Thorne that, um, sorry, but Allie's gone. And Thorne is like, oh, you mean she, she, she ran away? What do you mean gone? What do you mean gone? Steph is like, gone. She's gone, you know, in heaven. And, uh, yeah, Thorne is just hurt and he leaves the house. That's basically what happened. And then we get to the, to Ali's funeral and it's, uh, <sighs> Ivy is having a hard time because that's her, Ali was her cousin, but her friend, her best friend. So it's really hard for her. And I'm just like, Liam, that's the one time that I feel like Liam picked a side, picked a girl. And I'm happy that he did that, but it was the wrong time. And I feel like you did not break up with that chick yet. So the, at the very least, please check up on her. Okay? Because, I mean, like, be I'm not saying be be really there fully there for her but at least talk to her and be like are you all right like i'm sorry no there's no doubt we don't we didn't get any scenes with ivy and liam together and i felt like wow liam wow wow but i don't know how to feel like it's just like liam i would why oh liam I'm, I'm happy that he, he chose a girl, okay? And he's sticking with her. But I just felt like the timing was so wrong, you know? And it's so hurtful that, I'm sorry, Steffi is upset because, you know, Ali attacked her. But Ivy is upset too because her best friend, her cousin, died. And they were close. And you know that. So I'm just like, ah, oh, Liam, why? And uh, I did not like when he talked to Steffi. They were in the office. And he was saying to Steffi, I'll be by your side. Not just now, but forever, whatever. Making promises that he might just not keep. Okay? And he was like, I'm excited and we are together. And I'm just like, why are you talking about your life, your future, when there's a dead girl? This is somebody's funeral. That It just felt like maybe he was trying to uplift Steffi make her comfort her and maybe make her feel a little bit happier trying to get her to be happy but like that's not the time to talk about love just like Maya and Rick I was just like stop guys somebody died like why are you guys talking like but then again Ali was nobody to Liam so <laughs> I get it and um so at Ali's funeral so the funeral was in the mansion okay Forrester mansion and uh, Allie asked Thomas because Thomas came back for the funeral. I wish Hope came back too. Woo! If Hope came back, oh, we would have had a scene with her and um, Deacon, De Deacon, Deacon and Quinn. Oh, that would have been real good. I, I would have lived to see Hope say to Deacon, uh, "I'm not talking to you like you married that psychopath. Uh, we not, you're not my father anymore. You're not in my life. So goodbye. You know, I'm not trying to be." mean okay this is a funeral Let, let's just not talk goodbye and i would have liked to see her and uh wyatt okay they need that and i would have liked to see steffi's face when hope comes back or came back because it's in my head i'm seeing that image of steffi and hope liam meeting and <laughs> okay <laughs> I, 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 oh wow that could have been really good I'm glad that Brooke showed up um but yeah that, that was the one time I would have liked to see Hope you know ah uh, yeah 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 but yes um Thomas came back he was like I'm here because you know my cousin died and um 
Ivy asked, have you talked to Steffi? And Thomas was like, yeah, a few times. Okay, she didn't tell me any details, but, you know, I think I that, you know, she's upset, you know, like things are there's something going on and you have Ivy's eyes looking like mm-hmm at my wired like mm-hmm uh-huh and then we have uh, Oliver I'm so happy that he they put him there like I'm so glad that Oliver's here because you know he's the boyfriend okay like um and Oliver is kind of blaming himself he was like I should have stayed and Pam and Charlie are like man you had a job to do like Okay, you're not rich. Okay, you got a job, a regular job. You go wherever tell, they tell you to go. That's what you do. Okay, you can't just be saying, no, I got to take care of my girlfriend. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's not the kind of li life that you're leading. You're not Maya Avant, okay? Maya gets to go back home whenever she wants to go back home. <laughs> um, then Ivy and Wyatt are talking and Liam and Steffi show up. And Wyatt was like, okay, why are you angry? You you knew that Steffi was going to be here, right? And Ivy was like, yeah, I knew, but I didn't know how angry I'd feel. <laughs> okay? When I, like, I, I'm angry. Okay? I see her and I'm angry. And Wyatt was like, okay, but are you angry because she killed your cousin or because she's with Liam? And... Ivy did not answer the question, okay? <laughs> the scene was cut at that time. We didn't see the answer. We didn't get to see it. Hear it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I was like, mm, maybe both. She's not because of both. Like, you took my man, okay? You took my man. I told you to stay away from but you you pursued Liam now he's with you my cousin is dead it is because of you yeah I'm upset I'm freaking upset and seriously I wish Ali went crazy not on Steffi but on Liam Liam is the cause of so oh okay I mean it's Liam's fault okay hope being stuck in the love triangle that's because of Liam if Liam was not trying to get with Steffi and then trying to get with Hope then Hope would have been with Liam okay it's Liam's fault okay if Liam was like honest and clear and knew what he wanted like nothing Ivy would have been okay but no he played with Ivy's feelings okay first it was with Hope like like no, no. like I want to be with Hope no I can't be with Hope Okay, I'm going to be with you, Ivy. Oh, uh, Steffi came back. I don't know. I want to be with you, you know. I, uh, uh, Steffi, she's just, she's my past. And then you see her in a bikini and then suddenly you just don't know. <laughs> you know what, Ivy? I need to go back to Steffi. So it's like, go crazy on Liam. Well, you should have gone crazy on Liam. Whatever. But it's okay. Then uh, everybody... Uh, made a speech okay just a little speech about how much they loved Allie and uh, I, I I wish we would have heard the speeches okay not everybody's speech but at least Oliver's Ivy's and Thorns I mean the important people in her life that knew her and loved her for real for real like Oliver, the boyfriend, how come we don't hear the speech? Ivy, the cousin, the best friend, we don't hear her speech. And Thorne, yeah, we we heard um, the end, so that was nice, okay? She loved all of y'all, okay? You made her happy. And you see Maya and Rick, like, uh-huh. No, y'all need to feel guilty, okay? I want to hear some more apologies from y'all okay even though I loved Rick's apology because he 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 said it I was drunk on power but it's like she's dead now and I want Thorne not to be mad at Ridge or Steffi but to, at Rick and Maya they deserve it it's time for them to just be held accountable and that makes me think about you Annie okay um 
you you wrote a comment and I answered it, but I can't find my answer. I swear I posted. I was like, Dick. but I guess it got lost. I don't know. But what I was saying is, yes, they need to be held accountable. It's not okay that everybody is apologizing to them, and well, mostly to my. Yep. It's not okay that they apologize. Everybody apologizes, but. That they don't, do not get to apologize. They do not get to say sorry. Rick and Maya are walking like they're king and queen. And they do no wrong. And I don't like that. I don't like how Rick never apologized to Ridge. To Steph, uh, not Steffi. Steffi was not there. But to Ivy. To Allie. To Wyatt. To Caroline. Everybody that you've hurt. You need to apologize. You went too far. You need to apologize for your disgusting behavior. But he never did that. And he, in like two episodes, he apologized to Thorne. Thorne was not there. Thorne did not suffer. Thorne does, doesn't know anything. And that speaks a lot about Thorne as a father. How come you don't know about anything? You don't know what's been going on. A part of me is mad that nobody's telling him that, you know what, Rick and Maya, they treated Allie really badly, okay? Allie was rubbing feet, okay? Allie was rubbing feet because she wanted her shoe line to happen. What, what happened to the shoe line? Nobody talked about the shoe line, okay? Allie never had that shoe line of hers. That was her dream, and it never happened. Rick never gave it to her, and Ridge, I don't know, she never made a pitch to Ridge, which was weird because it was her dream. I don't know what happened, but okay, so she, Allie was rubbing feet, making snacks, okay? She was kicked out of her room for Nicole. She was treated badly, but for, you don't know about it. You don't... How come? You don't talk to your daughter? You've never talked to your daughter? And like six months later, you want to show up and be like, ah, maybe my daughter needs to be in Paris. She needs help. Six months later, you never called her, never visited her. You have no excuse. You're rich. Okay, I'm sorry. And you have, you don't have a regular job. You get to be like, oh, I'm tired and I want to stay home. You get to do that. Regular people, no, we don't do that. We can't do that. We can't just be like, oh, I'm going to take the jet and go to L.A. We don't get to do that. We don't have jets, okay? We go on a regular plane. I, 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 ugh, I blame Thorn. I blame Thorn for Ste uh, not Steffi, Ali's death because he was not there. You're supposed to be there for your daughter. And who was taking care of your daughter while you were gone? Nobody. Oh, Ali was with family. What do you mean? Eric was gone. Okay, gone most of the time. Uh, Rick. <laughs> You expect Rick to take care of Allie or to tell you what's to, I mean, maybe, I don't know, but you sent your daughter to live with, um, her granddad and the granddad was gone. Who was there for Allie? Ivy? Ivy is a young woman, okay, who has her own life, her own trouble, uh, issues, her own, you know, like, she has a life of her own, like, she can't just be, like, worried about Allie every day, she can't just do that, where were you, you left your daughter, and then I'm pretty sure you're gonna be, you're gonna be mad at some people, and be mad at yourself, I, be mad at yourself, because I know that footage, Ivy's, what Ivy filmed, yeah. Okay, people are going to know about it. And no, Thorne should... <sighs> Thorne shouldn't be angry. You left your daughter who needed help. 
okay and the he, he didn't talk he said something to Maya at some point he said something like M I, I, I I know I, I protected my daughter, but you know now she's a young woman. I have I had to let her go. You know she needs to be free, and and I, I can't control her anymore. She's I was like, what do you mean? She's not a regular kid. I, I don't know if she's just 17, 18. I don't know. If she's not a regular woman, a regular person. She has she has issues. So you need to be there, monitor, know what she's what's going on with her life. You need to know. You need to you needed to be there. There's no excuse. Oh, she needs to be free and she's a woman now. No, no, no. When you are a danger to yourself and other people, no. I, young lady, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be watching you. Okay? So, uh now. Whatever. So we got to Rich Okay, and he had a full, he, we saw his speech, okay, and uh, it was hard to understand what he was saying. I was just like, are you blaming Allie for her death? Like, I, I get it, but come on, Rich. This is the funeral, and the father is crying in front of you. Have mercy, okay? Like, have, have a heart. But uh, what I did like about his speech is when he said what is the lesson here okay and everything there's a lesson and I think the lesson is help help if you see someone who needs help help them okay they spend their time looking at Ali like oh my god she lost it but they did not do anything about it that was the time to call for and be like you know what your daughter she needs help come back home right now ASAP Thorne shouldn't have come back like after a couple of days and be like oh hey what's up what's going on guys you sh he should have known already what was going on with his daughter okay you you guys waited and waited no we she doesn't need a th therapy she doesn't need psychologists you know we're not giving up on her it's not about giving up on her it's about helping her and making sure that she's safe and stays alive and that we are safe meaning the foresters and everybody else who's in touch with her like or t is communi communicating or is in her life make sure that they are safe because she might just be a danger to herself and others so no you're protecting yourself you're protecting her at the same time give her help they should have given her help. Point blank. Like, I was just like, what? You see, we have like uh, flashbacks of Allie screaming and look, those, you know, those eyes, like, when she does these things, like, no, this is my family. This is my company. I just want to help. I'm just like, guys, she needs the help then like really and you know her past you know that she's had issues before and Thorne you kept Allie away from the family because of her issues so you knew that she she needed that that psychologist ASAP you knew that and uh, oh and everybody's mad at um Ridge because of the speech okay because he didn't say it well like I mean it was confusing and you kind of felt like he was blaming Allie and he was just like when you judge people that's what happened like you're like damn Ridge and I don't see why we heard Ridge Ridge why did you need to talk I don't see why we needed to hear Ridge uh I, I wanted to hear Ivy really the, the the one I was looking for the speech I really wanted to hear was Ivy okay like Ridge why are you talking and why are you saying these things like have a heart okay the father's crying and he was breaking down um in Allie's room earlier he was just like oh my god and um Eric and Brooke was there were there to to hug him and be there you know they they, they, they were they were like I kind of felt like wait Stephanie it's Stephanie it's like Brooke was replacing Stephanie in a way. It's like I like if I did know better, I would feel like wait, is is Brooke the mom? 
like but no Brooke ain't the mom okay clearly not um yeah at the end of the episode of today's episode actually we see uh Steffi his, she's upset okay like breaking down like oh my god Ali <sighs> <sighs> and then Ivy comes up to her and she's like, you know, you need to free yourself, okay? Tell the truth, okay? You need to accept that there's consequences to your actions, okay? So, tell the truth, speak up. And Steph is looking like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? And Ivy's just like, I know the truth, okay? About Ali's death. I know the truth. It was not an accident. And Steph is just like, what? Yeah, and that's how it ended. Confusion. Confusion. Whew, guys, um, so that was my full review, okay? Um, I don't think that that Ali needed to go, okay? She could have got into an accident, okay? Maybe she could have been at the hospital, okay? And we were afraid for her life. And maybe Steffi could have gotten arrested. I don't know. But I didn't feel like Allie... Oh, she shouldn't have died. Because I feel like Allie is the fruit, the, the product of Darla and um, Thorne's love. And it's like she represents... An era when, an era when B and B was really good. You know, the 80s, the 90s. B and B was. So I was just like, no, don't kill her, you know. But she's dead, gone. And now we have Thomas, and I wonder what's gonna happen with Thomas. What are we gonna do with him? Like, why is he here? I, I mean, he's gonna try to get with Caroline, obviously. And I'm just like. Do I really want to watch that? <sighs> okay. Whatever. So, um, that was my review. I hope you liked it. It's a bit long, but I had a lot to talk about, okay? Ali's death was big, okay? I was really emotional, like... Anyway, so that was the review. If you liked it, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to share the video, of course. So, um, goodbye, guys.